so this is how I prep my artichokes and we're gonna get started with I'm gonna show you how I cut the bottom of it and the reason why I cut the bottom of it so it has a nice flat surface to sit on the bottom of the pan this is actually the stem of the artichoke and I use this in my stuffing artichoke stems are really um, uh, soft and uh, sweet when they're cooked and I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook that. I'm also going to take this artichoke and I'm going to just slice the top off of it just like that and I'm going to be opening this up just a little bit and these are going to soak. They're going to soak in a pan not for very long but they're going to soak because I always think that they become really really soft from soaking in a pan and also is a great way to wash them. I also take my scissors and I go around and I basically really only do this just so they look pretty when they're all done and I just cut the tops. Sometimes artichokes can have pointy little um, thorns at the top. These don't. I actually bought little artichokes this year instead of the great big ones. We usually do great big ones, but this year I just decided to go with these little tiny ones. And that's it, and that's going to go in a pan and just soak for a few minutes. So now let me just show you how I cut the bottom of the artichoke. So I usually come like right around this area, maybe like this area. And I just try to cut it as straight as possible. A good, sharp kitchen knife is really important in the kitchen, and I love my kitchen knives. So from there, we do this. Just cut off the top. There we have it. And then just go around. The noise in the background is the girls setting the dining room table for Thanksgiving dinner. Today's Thanksgiving, and I am cooking stuffed artichokes, stuffed mushrooms, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes. We actually are going to be frying our turkey. We have for the past four or five years. Okay, so there you have it. This is ready to go into a pan, and let me just give you quick peek about how I actually clean the stem. So with the stem, I just get a paring knife and cut off the bottom and sometimes you can just peel it. See how it just peels really gently? This part, I just slice it up a little bit. back this part because this part is really kind of like barky it's it's like a bark it's like a wood, you know wood tree bark it's not it's not sweet and then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut these this small because don't forget these are going in the stuffing so you want them to be tiny 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 little pieces a bit time-consuming but I've always done it this way, and I just love the stems. I'm gonna just give it a quick chop. And this will get sauteed in with the other ingredients, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the rest of the artichokes and I'll be right back. Can I test something?
because all the stems are clean and now we are chopping them into itty bitty little pieces. Now I'm gonna use the same stuffing for my stuffed mushrooms. So you guys are gonna get two for one today because I'm gonna do stuffed mushrooms and I'm gonna do stuffed artichokes. And I'm gonna use the same stuffing in both. to prepare is my garlic. I don't usually like to chop garlic for my dishes. I usually just smash it, but there are some dishes that you have to chop your garlic. And this is one of them. So let's put it all out on the cutting board and try to get away, take away, look at that one's bad. These little pieces annoy me. I don't like to buy um, pre-cut uh, jar garlic. I just don't like the flavor of it. I prefer to use fresh cloves. I'll just give it a quick smash and then the shell should just peel right off after you give it a quick smash. And a little bit of shell never hurt anybody. A little skin. But you just kind of like, just wiggle it around a little bit in your fingers and it should come right off after you've smashed it. This is going to be my next ingredient that I prepare for the stuffed mushrooms and the stuffed artichokes, both. So I'm gonna be cleaning a lot of garlic. Want me to help you with that? So you can, um, yeah, you can help me with that. That's Chezzy, you guys, in the background, helping me. Hi, guys. She's uh, cutting up some Swiss yummy cheese. Okay, so there you have it. And just take away all of the skin and then get your knife and you are going to give this i'll show you just a quick chop like this there you have it chop 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 i keep my blade on the cutting board when i chop i don't do that i do this and i just find it easier to get nice chop okay so the next ingredient in my stuffed artichokes and stuffed mushrooms is an onion and I like to use a sweet Vidalia onion sometimes I'll use a scallion and this is going to be chopped very very small just like everything else that we've chopped and I'm going to show you quickly the best way. I think it's to chop an onion, cut it in half, turn it that way, and then just slice it. Try to keep it together. These pieces just fell, that's okay. Now I was just talking about how I like to keep my knife on point on the cutting board, but there is certain things that you can't do that with. Okay, so once you have it that way, just try to kind of line these back up again, flip it around, and then you're gonna go right into it like this. Try to get it, yeah, try to get it small. Chessy takes culinary in school, right, Chessy? Yeah. You like culinary? I love it, but it's not like that, like, you know, it's not like a very, very, like, advanced. Pro yeah, professional. It's just like a little high school, like, class, you know? Still, you learn a lot of basics on that. Yeah. 
and I got Boston sitting next to me here, waiting for anything to fall down. <laughs> of course, if the onion fell down, I don't think he'd want anything to do with it. Uh-uh. <laughs> so here we go, just giving it a quick, fine chop. You want it to be really, really just chopped finely. Just run your knife through it. Again, like this. Push it towards the knife. That much onion for that many artichokes? Yeah. Do you think it should be more? Is that what you said? How many artichokes are there? I mean, they're smaller too. No, this is plenty. Yeah, I think that's good. I just really like onion. So I don't, <laughs> I don't usually measure, you guys. I just kind of like do... Italian. By, just by sight. I don't really ever just measure anything to be honest with you everything to taste everything to sight is how I do it all right and here we have the onion moving on to the next step okay guys here's the next ingredient it's the mushrooms and I don't soak my mushrooms I wipe my mushrooms I don't like them to be waterlogged so there you have it. I just give them a quick wipe and that's gonna be Chessie's job. You can just do this really, really quickly. Just give them a quick wipe. I just really, like years ago, I used to soak them and then I saw this technique and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start doing it this way because sometimes when you give them even a quick wash, they, they absorb the water and they become kind of mushy and I don't like mushy mushrooms okay this is what we're going after look this here and I'm gonna use this melon baller and I'm gonna pull the stem out but I'm also gonna pull out a little bit of the mushroom you see that give it a nice well okay now these are baby bell mushrooms and this is gonna be part of my stuffing for my artichokes, which is why I always do them both at the same time and I kill two birds with one stone. So I stuff mushrooms and I stuff artichokes at the same time. All these stems, Massimo just walked in. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? He was at Lola's house. Poor Lola's not feeling well, so she's not going to be joining us for Thanksgiving. She's not feeling well at all. This will be the first Thanksgiving without Lola in a long time. So here we have it. So we have a lot of mushrooms to clean. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Actually, before I do that, let me show you how I chop the stems. Some of the bigger ones I go in just a little bit more. See that? And this is a great tool to use to clean out your mushrooms. And here we do one more and then I'll show you quickly. You want to cup your mushroom kind of like in your hand like this so that it doesn't fall apart in case you do go in a little bit too deep. You don't want these wells to fall because that's where you're gonna be stuffing. Okay, so once you have all your stems and we have a lot more mushrooms to hollow out, you're just gonna do the same thing that you did with your onions and you're just gonna chop it up really, really fine because this is your artichoke stuffing, this is your mushroom stuffing, and I use all, all of it for the stuffing. And just chop away, make it as little as you can. You can see I keep my point of the knife on the cutting board and the kids are dipping into the homemade cranberry sauce <laughs> with their cheese. Okay. That's a weird combination. Is it good? <laughs> cranberry sauce and cheese. Is that good? I made homemade cranberry sauce. It needs to go into the refrigerator, it's you guys. So good. It's so good, <laughs> is it? <laughs> it needs like a little. Good, I'm so glad you like it. 
but it does. It needs to go and it needs to chill. Is it perfect? Mm. Is it? <laughs> You're so <Perfect>. sweet. <laughs> oh, All right. Here we go. We're gonna, the girls are waiting to get ready for the stuffing. We're going to be bringing the stuff to the fry pan in just a minute. We're going to show you how we're going to how we're going to fry this stuff up. And just a little bit tedious, you know, to chop it all up. But that's that's the consistency that you're looking for. Nice and chopped, just like that. Okay. Okay, we're ready for the frying pan. We have our garlic, we have our artichoke stems, we have our onion, and we have our chopped up mushroom stems. You see how fine I chopped it? That's how fine you want it. Okay guys, so I am gonna use my cast iron skillet and I've got it really, really hot and I'm giving it a good wipe down with some olive oil. Look at it. But that's normal. That's normal for cast iron skillets. All right, so it's really, really hot. I'm gonna add my oil. I'm just gonna judge it. Then I'm gonna put my onion. Yum. Wait for it to become a little bit translucent. And I've got my temperature on high. Just keep stirring it. Around. Now there's something to be said about those old grandparents and old grandmothers that used to stir, stir, stir. You gotta stir your stuff. Kind of makes all the flavors come out. All right, and once it starts to get a little bit translucent like that, I did lower the heat just a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn it up again. We're gonna give this a minute. Let it rest. Where it just starts sizzling again because I turned it down and now I turned it back up. So we're going to give this another minute. I wish we had smell o vision because this is delicious. Okay, so now that it's become a little bit translucent, I'm going to put in the stems. These are all of the stems to the artichokes. Right. We're going to cook that all together. Just let it cook and cook and cook. And then lastly, we're going to add all of the mushrooms. down on high heat. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. Thank 
heat is that high. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I have to take all my food. <laughs> <laughs> some water. Alright, you guys, so this has been cooking for what, Chesley, about maybe five minutes? Mm, yeah, like five, seven about five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. So now here's the last step. I used to season breadcrumbs, and when I was a little girl, I actually, even when the kids were little, I used to make my own homemade breadcrumbs, and I used to brown them in the oven. I haven't done that in years. So we're gonna use we're gonna use some four seed breaded seasoned breadcrumbs. Uh, it's not a paid commercial, you guys. Just using this product because if we yummy. buy it, we buy it at Costco, and we do most of our shopping at Costco. So that's what they sell. So that's what I'm using. And we're gonna mix this up. I like those breadcrumbs. You like those breadcrumbs? Yeah. I wish we had some panto. Oh, that's what I like too. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have any panto. Otherwise, sometimes it's oh, nice don't forget the cheese. to put panto yeah. in it. Okay, yeah. at this point, we're going to turn off the fire and oh. we are just going to stir this up. And the last ingredient that we're going to put in this mixture the secret. It's not secret. <laughs> <laughs> the you most, just, you just, <laughs> the most important ingredient. I'm gonna add a, just a little touch more of olive oil, just to moisten it up a little bit more. And I'll show you what the last ingredient is in just a moment. You just want this breadcrumbs in the mixture to get nice and married. If you mm. want to just keep adding a little bit until you get get it just a nice moisture is what you want you don't want it to be too too dry okay I'm going to show you the next ingredient in just a few minutes here once we're done stirring this up okay and we are ready for the final ingredient do you know what that is do you know what it is do you know what it is do you know what it is Cheese. Cheese is probably the most important ingredient. It's what makes everything delicious. I'm sorry for those of you that are lactose intolerant and can't have it because cheese is fabulous. And as an Italian, I can't imagine life without it. So there you have it. Mix it all together. We're gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna show you how we're gonna stuff them. The mushrooms and the artichokes. All right, just stir away. All right, guys, so here we are. We're ready to stuff our mushrooms, and this I do by hand. There's really no other easy way. I mean, you can put gloves on, but this is my family, and we are fine with just, just grab it and stuff it. Be careful. It's kind of like you have to be a little bit aggressive with it, but you also can't stuff it so much that it cracks. It cracks, exactly. Exactly. Sometimes I'll put a little tomato Wait, sauce on top. You forgot the cheese. Nope, I put it in. Oh. You weren't paying attention. Okay, Sorry. now here's your artichokes. This is what you want to do. You want to pry them open just a little bit and just open these up all the way around like this. And you want to take it and just sprinkle it in. See what I'm doing? Just opening the leaves and sprinkling it in. This is how you do it. This is how I stuff my artichokes. Just spread the leaves and sprinkle it in. How's that? Yum. Yummy, yum, yum. And there is my stuffed artichoke. Looking yummy, yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, <laughs> so these are going to go in a um, pan with about an inch of water and we're gonna cook them for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm gonna keep checking the water, make sure it doesn't go, I'm gonna put the water like up to about there and um, make sure all of the little leaves have just a little bit of sprinkle. And that's it, guys. Pack it down nice and tight. There's your artichoke, there's your mushroom. We're gonna cook them. We're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Okay, the artichokes are in the pan and I just wanna show you, you need to keep the water level at about, 
an inch. So what I do is I pour some water in. As soon as it stops boiling, I know that's enough water. See how it stopped boiling? So I wait for it to come to a boil again, and then I put more water in. And you wanna cook them covered for about an hour. All right, there goes the turkey into the fryer. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. some of our Thanksgiving Day. Hope to see you at the Black Friday Marathon, which is gonna be starting in a few hours. I'm gonna go upload this video. We're gonna be eating in about an hour. Thanks for watching, and uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please share, and we'll see you live. Thank you.